Hey guys, what's going on? B Craig here with B Craig Trades. Um, in this video, I just want to go over what exactly happened in the market. Try my best to explain to you guys in the most um, simplest way. Um, and I have a couple more things I need to go over. Some trades I'm looking at. Some um, some pretty big gains from some members in our Discord group. They did an amazing job trading today, even through the kind of it was kind of choppy today. Besides like 10 or 15 stocks that really just ran, but that was the story of the whole day. Um, as always, if you aren't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, really helps with the algorithm. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. So first, I did want to pull up this GameStop chart, which is pretty wild. It seems like GameStop does most of its movement um, in pre-markets. So what exactly happened with GameStop is um, basically a whole bunch of guys saw that these hedge funds are really short on the stock and when the hedge fund is short in the stock they're expecting the price to go down but they had borrowed too much money against it so you know if the stock moved up even a little bit it was going to squeeze people out of the stock so at the end of the day it kind of became like a pissing contest you know with the wall street bet guys and you know the hedge fund um guys were you know they were trying to bring the stock down and wall street bet guys just trying to you know bring it right back up and it looks like the wall street bet guys really won this one and it wasn't just with GameStop, it was with GameStop, um amc I ran a good amount um nokia had ran today um i think space had ran today um a, a good bit but you know the wall street bet guys were just you know targeting these stocks that were super short and if you go back to my previous videos i actually have a video going over how to find um short flow stocks and what's getting shorted the most and you can kind of go off those plays so that was kind of a strategy i was looking at for the past two weeks or so i kind of can see that's what they were doing also they were in these blackberries um too you see blackberry went up to 28 um 28 bucks a share but then these were the only stocks that really ran up during the day and that's the only way to really um to to describe exactly what had happened today uh let's see i think it's in profits let's see i think somebody made like twelve thousand today yeah this person made twelve thousand today um 19 1912 thousand some um gamestop um calls another person uh let's see made four thousand on workhorse workhorse is another one that um that ran today and we, we trade today we traded nicola nicola ran for a good amount um nokia and MITT, but that was a, a swing play that I had from yesterday. But um, I'm not too sure what's going to happen tomorrow. With the S I think the SEC might crack down a little bit. They kind of already are trying to um, kind of just limit what's going to happen. I believe, uh, I know in TD Ameritrade, you can't even trade um, GameStop right now. And all that you can do is move to get out your position. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of, it's a great area here because it's like, you know, are the, you know, are the SEC and the big guys kind of trying to push the little guys out and have them, you know, not be able to enjoy these markets when the hedge funds, um, these big hedge funds do it all the time. You know, that's, that's up for the SEC to really to decide, you know, but here's some Nokia flow. And I mean, this is a lot of flow, guys. Like, look at this. I mean, this is the most amount of flow I've seen in a while. And if you look right here on Black Box, the left hand side, um, 42.8 42 .8 million wins in GameStop, 34 million wins in Nokia, PLTR, 20, um, 20 million. And usually Tesla's at the top. Tesla's usually always at the top, you know, with even 20 to 30 million um, in, you know, in, in call, um, in actual call volume or call, um, do, um, actual dollars traded that day. But today it, it wasn't the top and that was kind of a weird day, Somebody, something like GameStop. But the thing is, you know, where, where does it stop? You know, where does GameStop go ahead, you know, go ahead and, hit its peak and come back down because there's nothing actually really holding this stock up there's no actual fundamentals on it at all but i think it's you know t today's run is pretty wild went to 385 at the you know at the at the peak and kind of came back down so tomorrow morning during pre-markets i'll really be able to tell what's it going to do if it doesn't really gap up in pre-markets and we'll probably have a day where it comes back down um and like i said i think it will come back down just based off the fact that um these brokers just aren't allowing people to trade gamestop anymore you can't get into any calls on it. Um, even this morning, this morning was really bad. I mean, um, my E Trade account was frozen. The the prices weren't you know updating. And then my TD Ameritrade account, Think of Swim, was frozen too. So it's kind of like they saw what was going on. So much volume in the market, they kind of you know lagged out their software. You know, I don't know if they did it on purpose. Some people would say they would, they did, or if you know they're just their their software and, and you know and their website just couldn't handle that much volume and you know. Um, call volume and bandwidth i don't know i guess on their sites whatever it was but 
a lot of things lagging out. The Robinhood lagged out pretty hard today. Webull lagged out. E Trade, think for basically every every retail trade platform. Um, you know the hedge fund guys that we really don't use this platform to trade on. But um, to see what's going to happen next in the market, I don't know. I know Apple, um, Apple, Facebook, and Tesla all had earnings today, and they weren't trading too far up or down. I believe that Apple was pretty flat. Oh, here's um. Here's actually Tesla. Tesla trading at 8.27 right now. They kind of missed their earnings, so there's that. Um, this Apple play, Apple trading down. Also, I did have some yellows on Apple, even though uh, what was it? Facebook actually did pretty well. They they um they actually brought in a pretty good amount in revenue for um advertisement. So you know those that's looking good. But you can kind of respect that because Microsoft they had this. They said the same thing during their earnings call that they and this was the earnings yesterday. You see, it kind of gapped up. But during their earnings, they said that, you know, they brought in a lot of revenue due to their um, advertisements and whatnot. So I don't know what tomorrow has in store for us. I don't know if these um, GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, Space, Nokia, if we'll, if we'll be able to trade them tomorrow. I'm not too sure about that. Our, our you know, our platforms might lag out. They, they actually might not even allow us to buy options in these um, stocks just like they did today. I think towards the end of the day, GameStop... Um, GameStop and AMC TD Ameritrade wasn't allowing anyone to buy into those positions, but you can sell the positions that you did have. So, like I said, it's a real big, great area there. Kind of weird, kind of weird stuff going on. You know, if you ask me, doesn't seem as fair, but it, it's all domino effect. So the whole, I think that's why the market was kind of down so much today because that was going on. You had hedge funds having to cover positions and sell out positions in order to, you know, having the cash on their balance sheet. Um, so, you know, I want to get margin called or whatever it, it might be, but today was a historic day. Things are going to change in the future. Um, it, it, things like this won't be, a, won't be allowed to happen though. It'll be some type of circuit breaker or something that they put in where these type of things won't happen anymore. Um, but that's about it for this video. Just want to go with those stocks, uh, AMC, Blackberry, GameStop, Nokia, Space. Uh, a lot of them. Those are the ones that really ran. Those are the only stocks that really ran today. Even, I mean, even though Nikola did run today, I think Nikola does have a high short f float on it, I believe. But Joe Biden just did um, have that talk yesterday where he was talking about he was really looking forward to finding new sustainable energy, basically, you know, pumping up the um, EV sector, electronic vehicle sector in the market. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's it for today, guys. To see, tomorrow might be another wild, crazy day. On days like today, these are the days that you really want to capitalize. When you're going throughout your trading career, some days you might not see the best trades. You might not even um, place any trades. But today, there was a lot of opportunity out there. So, um, um, that's about it. Actually, I do want to go over one thing. I did have one member ask me, how did I know that Nikola was going to go back up? Is there anything he could have done? So if you look at Nikola right here, I can see it already. This is where Nikola, um, after the five minute candle right here at 935, it gapped up and then it came back down and bounced off that level. So the only way you would know to keep it is because it was above this, res this, res this resistance, which became support, as you can see right here in this level. So it started just bouncing off that level and then went higher and then, you know, came back though below that level. So that would have been the answer to that question. I forgot what member it was that asked me that, but that's how you would have known to stay in here. Um, you can't just look at charts with no levels of support resistance there. You have to have those levels there. So, you know, if you need to sell or get out um, or if a stock will run from there. But yeah, guys, once again, I'm B Craig with B Craig Trades. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will leave a link to the Discord group um, in the description, but also in the first pinned comment it will be there. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up for me, please. That really helps help out the algorithm. And thanks for watching, guys.